Hi, it's Greg over at DIY RVing Home Campers Life. Doing some more curtain work in our trailer. Now, if you haven't seen the first video where I did a privacy curtain between our bedroom and the rest of the trailer, check it out. It's right there. I'm taking that same system, which is a ceiling mounted rack uh, for the curtain, and I'm going to put it inside our uh, bathroom for the shower. And at the same time, I'm going to increase the room in the shower. So as we see normally, we've got a fairly small shower and when the curtain's in place, I mean, it is tight as can be. I mean, you just got, I don't even know how, you, you know, if you've got the trailer, you know what I'm talking about here. You know, there's just no room. So the plan is we're going to go ahead and pull the old curtain down, curtain rod down, and we're going to add some rail to the ceiling i'm actually going to go around the light so you'll actually have light in the shower and i'm also going to let me show this out of the way real quick and i'm going to bring it to where that curtain can actually wrap around the back side over here a ways that way we can actually move the shower curtain out of the way let it drip dry but still have more room instead of this being closed off letting this drip dry or whatever you know it's, it's, it feels cramped so this is going to help open it up anyways i'm gonna get everything set up i'm gonna start getting it to our part now the first thing i'm gonna need to do is go ahead and take the curtain down of course and i just mocked this up because we had already taken the other one down so actually kind of got the new style clips on so it makes it really easy to take this down so we'll get this out of the way And go ahead and take the rod down. Of course they're not. Of course they are. Little tiny screws. Just going into the paneling. So there's not much actually holding this up. Come around. Got them all. All right, let's get that out of here. And I will be going and putting some silicone in the holes right here on both sides to get that patched up. First thing I want to do is, now this one is still a little long. I'm just going to figure out where I want it to go, though. So I'm going to bring it close to the shower head. And then we're just going to go around like that. I think that's going to work out really good. So let me get a pencil. Ow. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of figure out where I want this first bracket to be. And I need it to be about an inch from the end of the rod or the rail here because there's an end cap that goes on it to keep the um, rollers from coming off. Now I've got that where I want it, roughly. And I know that there's not going to be any uh, type of uh, framing joists or anything up there. I've already done some preliminary work. So what I got to do is use my pop toggles for 1 8 inch paneling. Uh, they're by Hiltman and it takes a 5 16 drill bit. You do need to drill and then I'll demonstrate. Actually I have a link right here demonstrating those. So let me get everything set up. We'll come back. We'll start getting it uh, installed all right i've got all my supplies that i'm going to need to get this job done it does take a 5 16 drill bit to uh drill the holes for these pop toggles 
these are the bra these are the brackets that hold the track to the ceiling. There is two holes in it, along with a clip that is held in place with a spring. And that's what locks the track in place. Take my pencil, I'm gonna come in. I've got to mark where I want that last one to be. So if I go roughly like that, there now go ahead real easy you don't need to go crazy drill through there might be some wires above so you don't want to cut those wires or anything like that so we're just gonna bump it just like that in the edge of the hole Now we're gonna take our pop toggle right here. We're gonna depress the center right here and fold those wings in on themselves. Like that. That way we can press it through the hole. Go ahead and insert it into the hole all the way. And then taking the tool that comes with the kit, you just press in the center and it'll pop up. Now once it's popped up, it's ready to go. So we can now change back over to our Phillips bit and install our hanger. And I'm just going to get it up there to a point where I can move my hand out of the way. Mark the other one. I could spin uh, the bracket out of the way, drill it, and uh, put the next toggle in. Just like that. And grab a pencil. Make sure it looks where I want it. go now I can just loosen it up a little bit bring it out of the way and we'll get this next one installed okay got the first one in now, as we can see, the track right here actually has a top and a bottom. The bottom has got a curve to it, the top is flat. So, we can actually come in and I like that a little bit better. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shape out the track how I want it and get it to find where I need my other brackets to be. And this right here is shapeable. There is a metal strip in the center of it. So you can bend this into the shape that you want. You can do a fairly tight corner with it. When it does come, it comes rolled up and they do say to uh, roll it, kind of straighten it out, let it sit for 24 hours before you use it. Um, of course, I've left mine a little uh, rounded, but uh, the last project worked just fine, so I'm going to get this done and I'll come back uh, when I get my shape and figure out where I want stuff. So I'm pretty sure that I'm long enough on my shower curtain. It's almost six foot. This rail is six foot, and I don't know if I'm going to be using the entire rail, so I think we're going. So I'm going to go ahead and I've already got my holes right here uh, marked. So I'm going to go ahead and get those drilled out real quick, get another uh, bracket up.
Now that last one I installed right here, somehow the holes are not exactly perfect. But as you saw, I was able to get it. So we're gonna go like this, we're gonna do one at a time. Like I said, I want the, the track to go a little bit further out on this one. On this side, so. Yes, they do. Unless you're not getting a triple member of the freezer, uh, you're using something like an acre. The acre itself is a fire. Minimum, a quarter. Size of the amount larger. So, size of the acre is a quarter. finish off uh, this right here I'm just gonna go ahead and install the end cap I know I could have installed it before but it went on fairly easy now I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure it's fully in it's tapped in place now the curtain won't fall off there tap that one that feels good I see something that I don't like right there. Little tab is bent just a little bit right here. So what we're gonna do is make sure we're pressed up. Just take a pair of needle nose pliers and twist it back in place where it's supposed to be. Ah, looks good. That looks good. That looks good. All right, let's hang the curtain. Now, there it is. We've got her installed. As you can see, it has pulled out the top. We've actually got that light right there that's now inside the shower. And, of course, we should not have any leaks over here, and we should not have any leaks over on that other side. Why don't we do this? Let's jump on inside and see how much more room we've got. So, we can just move it out of the way, and actually, when we're not using it, we can just have it sit right there. It's not all bunched up, so it won't mildew or anything like that if it's wet. You know what I... Yeah, it is with those shower curtains. Now it gives you so much more room inside the bathroom. At least it makes it look like it's so much bigger. Let's come inside here and let's take a shower. Well, let's uh, just kind of act like we're going to take a shower. Okay. So as we look down here, we've got it all the way to the shower faucet coming up so really there's no water that can get back over there and if we come around you know again the shower curtain is coming all the way to the back of the wall here we've got enough down below that it's not going to do that now i know some people are going to be worried about uh me drilling in here if you are go ahead and put some silicone up there and screw those in I'm not worried about it because it's just going to be mist up here. Exactly just like with this uh, light. You would have had the same amount of misting with the light. And of course we do have a max air fan right there. So it will be brought, drawing all that moisture out. But look at this. Look at this. I mean, you've got the room in here now. 
You know, it doesn't feel claustrophobic. I mean, before it was right here. Here was the shower curtain. Right here, right in your face. Let's go ahead and just gonna need to bend the uh, rail right here just a little bit. And I'll just reform the metal band in there just a little bit to pull it away from the wall right there because it is kind of hanging right there. But even then, I mean, it, if anything else, it would help to keep that in place so you don't accidentally bump it out of the way. But, all right, so let's open her up, step out, and come back around. So I think this was an easy project to do. Of course, I'll have a link in the description to where you can get this track. Um, I've used it here, and I've also used it right here. We're actually uh, working on the curtain right now for this. Uh, plus, I got a little bit extra left over, so I had enough to do this, that, and have just a little extra left over. Um, of course, these pop toggles by Hillman. Invaluable, as you see, holds up to 40 pounds in plywood. Uh, we've attached this, we've attached this. I've actually worked on this. Uh, ah, got this attached with it. Uh, multiple things that I've used those for. So they're uh, invaluable inside of a trailer with eighth inch paneling. So if you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe and share. And hopefully this has inspired you to do some DIY on your own trailer. Until the next time, happy camping!